Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and um, also interact together. We are going to have our biology from 3, lesson 12, whereby our, your tutor will be Mr. Jared. We are going to handle the topic on um, ecology under the subtopic um, parasitism. Uh, but before that, we are going to have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to differentiate between parasitism and uh, saprophytism. Uh, these two words might uh, seem to be the same, but um, they are quite different, so it is good that uh, we follow up the lesson. Welcome. Uh, we can say that uh, in parasitism, uh, in parasitism, this is the relationship in which an organism obtains nutrients from another life organism without killing it. These organisms which live from another life organism while the one from which nutrients are obtained is called the host. So let us have some diagrammatic representation to show uh, the, um, the parasite and the host. In our, our first diagram there, you can see we have got the tick. So in this case, our tick will be the parasite, while the, uh, the place where it is uh, landing on, it is known as the host. We have said that in parasitism, the parasite does not necessarily kill the host. We have our second diagrammatic uh, representation of parasitism whereby you can see um, there the caterpillar is being infected by some parasites. These actually parasites normally uh, they obtain um, food from the host. We have our um, we have our third representation of also of parasitism. So as I'm explaining, you can look at the diagrammatic representation on our screen so that you might understand more of this parasitism. Uh, we have said that a parasite benefits in terms of food and shelter from the host while causing, uh, while causing the host, uh, host some harmful effects. Remember that uh, this parasite is a foreign uh, organism that is coming to interfere with the normal functioning of a certain uh, of another organism. So obviously it will uh, bring some uh, discomfort to the organisms. It has some harmful effects though uh, we have said that it might not necessarily kill the host but uh, if um, if they might be in large numbers, I, at, there is a at certain points whereby the host might uh, die. Uh, parasites found on the surface of our host are known as ectoparasites. All these parasites that we are seeing on our screen are what we call as uh, ectoparasites. Uh, for example, these ectoparasites we have uh, the ticks, while those while those are found inside the body of our host are known as endo. Parasites. We have also endoparasites, and an example of an endoparasite um, is what actually now we are seeing on our uh, on our fourth diagram. Because this um, host, the host is the leg, where the parasite will be, uh, the womb that is trying to get inside the body. Parasites weaken their host, cause um, cause or transmit diseases which may kill their host, thus reducing their numbers and distribution. Um, remember that these parasites, they might uh, transmit disease to the, um, the host, and uh, eventually the host might uh, succumb to death. We have another relationship whereby it's known as symbiosis, and in symbiosis we can say that um, this is an association between organisms of different species in which both organisms benefit. I'm going to have an example of symbiotic uh, relationship whereby um, it is what uh, is being represented on our screen. Uh, for example, we have the rhizobium bacteria which live in the root nodules of our leguminous plants, as we are able to see from our screen. Uh, the benefit, um, the plants benefit from the nitrates fixed by the rhizobium bacteria, while the bacteria benefit from shelter and carbohydrate provided by the plants. So the nodules are what you can see them being as um, actually they are they are attached on the roots as you can see from our screen and their function actually they fix nitrogen while the, now the roots of the plants uh, they um, benefit from that nitrogen to um, to fix uh, nitrates while now the rhizobium bacteria will also benefit by uh, getting shelter uh, from the uh, from the roots. Uh, this relationship enables such plants to thrive on nitrogen deficient soils because um, so the plants that um, have got that is the legumes 
they are able to survive in areas where there is no enough uh, nitrogen because the uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria will uh, be responsible to fix the nitrogen. We have another um, relationship which is saprophytism. And uh, as we can explain saprophytism, we can say that uh, these are type of nutrition where organisms obtain nutrients from dead organic matter and causing decomposition. Uh, organisms, organisms which feed in this manner are known as the saprophytes and include uh, fungi and the bacteria. Decomposition releases nutrients into the ecosystem which are then made available to other living organisms. Uh, having done and said that, uh, we can have uh, a following activity whereby you will be required to differentiate between symbiosis and saprophytism. And to get uh, this lesson, uh, this lesson and um, um, more of this lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 3, which is a fourth edition in Nairobi, uh, which has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And also uh, to get um, this uh, information, that is this biology lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen or through our YouTube channel, which is the Limu TV. Or you can also uh, subscribe to our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV. Or you can uh, tweet us at Elimu TV um, underscore Kenya. Let us uh, subscribe to all these channels so that we might enjoy more of our biology lessons. Uh, feel welcome.